I'm Greg Luganis, and I'm an Olympian, diver. I was in the 1976 Olympic Games, got a silver medal there. Qualified for the 1980 Olympic team, but we boycotted that Olympics. And then I got two golds in 84 and two golds in 88, men's through mere springboard and platform diving. Each Olympics was just a, a totally different experience. And also I was in a different place in my, in my life. In 1976, I was, only, I was still in high school. I was friends with the Soviet divers at that time because they were closer to my age and we'd have balloon fights and pranks and, you know, running around. And in 84, it was Los Angeles. And it was right in my backyard and it was great. My parents could be there, friends could be there. And I won two gold medals there. It was dream, a dream come true competition for me. You know, my coach, Ron O'Brien and I, it was in the finals, of the, especially the men's 10 meter platform. I just felt like a dance. It was pretty effortless. And then I went on to, to Seoul, Korea and got two more gold medals. And that was, it was challenging because, you know, six months prior to the Olympic Games in 88, I was diagnosed with HIV positive. So there was a lot of stress and tension surrounding that Olympic Games. So each one was different, but also pulling the best out of you. I think that that is, you know, to, to tap into the best that I have available to me at that moment in time. I'm a firm believer you don't achieve greatness on your own. Ron O'Brien, my coach, I couldn't have gotten through the competitions without him. He always told me they'll forget you and they'll forget what you did, but they will always remember your records. That is what I kind of kept my focus on. A lot of my records are still standing. I won the Nationals 47 times, you know, which is crazy. It really is up, up to you. The only thing you have control of is your own performance. So focus on your own performance and what you can do, what you have control of. Everything else, let it go.